By now, most of you should have received your 3Play X1 consoles. In this video, we're going to explain how to use your 3Play device and the Playtron systems step by step. We'll start with powering on the device and walk you through the setup process, then gradually explore more advanced features. We'll cover everything from basic startup settings and the Web3 wallet to using Playtron's features, importing and buying games, and even some advanced custom settings. Feel free to watch straight through or skip to the parts you're most interested in. Getting started with setup. When you first power on your 3Play 0x1, you'll go through a quick initial setup. Here's the simple flow. Step 1. Basic setup. Follow the on-screen instructions to get the essentials done. Step 2. Connect to Wi-Fi. Step 3. Log into your Playtron account. Step 4. Choose a game store. I actually recommend skipping this during setup. Leave them unchecked for now and finish the initial steps. It's easier to link your game store accounts later from within the system interface. Once your console finishes and boots into the main system, congratulations! Your initial setup is complete. You're ready to start exploring. Second, Web3 Wallet Overview. Now let's talk about the Web3 Wallet, the feature crypto natives care about most. Go to Settings, Wallet, and enable Wallet Display. Then return to the home screen, you'll see a wallet icon. Tap it to open your Souffle Web3 Wallet interface. Right now, the wallet is basically in watch-only mode. You can't send, receive, or use tokens yet. It's mainly for viewing your assets. That should change soon. When the Play Airdrop arrives, the wallet is expected to upgrade and unlock full features, just like a normal Web3 wallet. Stay tuned. If you flip the accounts, toggle on the right side of the wallet screen, it simply resends the same wallet setup reminder email we mentioned earlier. Handy if you skipped it. Before we leave the wallet topic, do one important thing. Go back to the main menu, open settings, scroll to the bottom and enable adult content. You'll definitely want this. If you truly don't plan on playing any games, honestly, you don't even need to power it on. Just ship your free play over to me for safekeeping. But seriously, with a play token airdrop coming for players, I recommend trying a few free games so you don't miss out on those rewards. Third, Playtron Game OS features. First up, Game Import. Think of your three play like a media library. As soon as you sign in with accounts that already own games, the system automatically pulls those titles into your library, ready to play. It's just like logging into Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube Music on a new phone. Once you sign in, your playlists and purchase tracks are instantly there. Same idea here. Sign in, and your games are there. Game compatibility. Playtron Game OS is a custom operating system built on Fedora Linux, not Windows. So you might be wondering about compatibility. A good rule of thumb, if a game runs on Steam Deck, it will likely run on Playtron as well. Playtron Game OS labels each title with one of four compatibility levels, similar to Steam OS on the Steam Deck. Games marked highly compatible run flawlessly. Start there for the best experience. Does that mean other statuses won't run? Not necessarily. I've tested titles that weren't officially verified and they still played smoothly. As Playtron updates the system, the pool of highly compatible games will keep growing. And remember, you're not stuck with defaults. With a few setting tweaks or extra compatibility layers, you can often get almost any game running. We'll cover those tricks in advanced customization. System Control Sidebar, your 3Play 0x1 has a handy System Control Sidebar, kind of like the control center on your phone. Press the button next to the 3Play logo anytime to bring up the Playtron control menu. From here, you get quick access to the essentials. Take screenshots, adjust volume and brightness, and even switch performance modes on the fly. Alright, now let's jump into how to import your games and purchase new ones on 3Play. Fourth, Importing Purchased Games. So, you've already bought games on platforms like Epic or Steam, here's how to bring them into 3Play. There are two scenarios. Scenario 1, initial account link import. Scenario 2, adding new purchases later. Let's start with the first one. On the 3Play home screen, go to Settings, Linked Accounts. From there, connect your Epic Games account, Steam account and others. I strongly recommend starting with Epic Games. Here's why. Epic fully supports the Web3 features of Playtron titles. If a game exists on both Epic and Steam, and you pick the Steam version, 
you'll likely be playing a traditional Web 2 build that may not enable the crypto rewards or blockchain features the Web 3 Epic version has. To link Epic, select it under linked accounts. A built-in browser opens. Enter your Epic login and password. Once you sign in, your Epic account is connected to Playtron. Do the same for Steam. Log in and it'll link in a moment. Now head back to the main menu and open your library. This is where all your games live. You should now see every title you own from the accounts you linked. From here, select any game, download it to the device, then launch and play. Easy. Next, what about new games you buy later? Let's say you just purchased a title on your PC or phone via the Epic Store or Steam, but it's not showing up on your 3Play library yet. No need to relink anything. On your device, navigate to that game's info page and tap Verify Ownership. The system will check your linked accounts. If you own it, the game is added to your library immediately. That's the flow. Link your accounts once for a big initial sync and use Verify Ownership for any new purchases going forward. Fifth, buying games. For now, it's a little different from a standard console. At the moment, Playtron Game OS doesn't include built-in store apps. In other words, you can't purchase games directly on the 3Play. At least not yet. This may change in future updates. The recommended flow is simple. Use a web browser on your PC or phone to buy the game on Epic or Steam. Then let your linked accounts do the work. Once the purchase is on your account, your 3Play will recognize it automatically. If it doesn't appear right away, open the game's info page on the device and tap Verify Ownership to pull it into your library. That's currently the smoothest way to get new titles onto your free play. How to buy a game and add it to free play. Step 1. Find the game. On your free play, use the search bar to locate the title you want. Step 2. Check compatibility. Review the game's compatibility rating to make sure it'll run well. Step 3. Pick a store. For Web3 enabled games, choose the Epic Games version to unlock blockchain features. For non-Web3 titles, pick based on price or your preferred store. Step 4. Purchase via QR code. On the games page, select Buy to display a QR code. Scan it with your phone or open it on your PC. You'll land on the game's web purchase page. Log in and complete checkout like normal. Step 5. Claim it on the console. Back on 3Play, Open the games page and tap Claim Game. The system verifies your ownership via your linked accounts and unlocks the title in your library, ready to download and play. Sixth, advanced customization. Finally, let's touch on some advanced customization options for the 3Play 0x1 and the Playtron system. We'll cover a few areas, control inputs, software environment settings and display options. Input methods. The 3Play 0x1 supports multiple input methods. Out of the box, the system fully supports keyboard and mouse in addition to the built-in game controller. In fact, keyboard and mouse get first priority in the system. So if you hit a game that isn't playing nicely with the handheld controls, try plugging in a keyboard and mouse. The game might be perfectly playable that way. You can also check how well a game handles controllers by looking at controller support on the game's page inside the Playtron interface. It'll tell you whether a title is fully controller compatible, partially supported, or best played with keyboard and mouse. Environment tweaks and key mapping. Now this is a big one for advanced users. Customizing the game environment and control mappings. Every game on Playtron Game OS can have custom configurations applied. In simple terms, even if a title isn't marked highly compatible at first, you can often install the extra components or tweak settings to make it run smoothly. It's a bit of a DIY process, but the option's there if you like to tinker. If you're interested, check out the official Playtron website for detailed guides. Along with system environment tweaks, you can also customize controller key mappings for games. Playtron Game OS lets you remap controls, so you can assign buttons or keys however you like to fit a game's needs or your personal preference. I've actually demonstrated how to set up a custom key mapping for Dota 2 in another video. Feel free to check that out if you want to see remapping in action. Display settings and output. Lastly, let's talk about display options. For now, the system does not support external video output. That functionality may arrive in a future update. Inside the display settings, you may also notice certain options are missing or not configurable yet. For example, there's currently no frame rate cap toggle or variable refresh rate setting on the device itself. Those are features we'll have to wait for in upcoming system updates. 
That said, you can still tune graphics per game. Adjust in-game resolution, quality and performance settings to get the best experience today. Beyond these, there are plenty more deep customization possibilities. I'll be making another video to dive into those hardcore DIY topics for anyone who's interested. Thanks for watching and happy gaming. Enjoy your three play and I'll see you in the next one.